Hey there guys, I'm sure you're wondering why you're seeing this dagger again as I've already done a time-lapse video of the uh, work I've done on it. But no, this video is a tutorial um, on sending textures from Substance Painter to Marmoset Toolbag. I've seen a couple videos on it, but they're really, they're kind of confusing and a lot of them don't really make sense. None of them are straightforward, so I'm just going to jump straight into it and make this short as can be. So it's actually pretty easy once you figure it out. Alright, anyway, so I got my model opened up and my textures. I'm going to go ahead and export textures. Um, on the config, I am going to select... Where's it at? Alright, PBR spec gloss from Metal Rough. Um, first of all, I don't know if this is the best way or most efficient way to do this, but it's a way that I found works and I get the same results from Substance Painter to Marble Set. So I'm going to go ahead and export it to this folder here I made for this tutorial. We are going to export. <clears throat> That'll take a minute because I did make the textures 4K because why not? Alrighty, that is almost done. Okay, that is done. So we're going to go ahead and jump into Marmoset here and we're going to import that model. Uh, let's see, where did that put it? Dagger low, that would be you. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and delete the default material because I don't need it. I have my own materials here. And then I'm going to open the folder with the textures in it. And you could technically click here and go to it if you want. I just find it easier to open the folder and then drag and drop. Alright, so for, let's see, I have separate, I have two different materials. I have the blade here and then I have like the handle and the hilt and everything all in one. So the blade is its own material, so we will start with that. Alright, we are going to grab the defuse here. And the defuse will go to... Albedo, drag and drop it there, and then grab your gloss map, it's glossiness, it's going to go to your microsurface map, drag and drop it there, and then your normal map, it's going to go to your surface normal, and you're going to flip the Y on this, if you don't, you can see why, I mean it's just, it looks, it looks funny, you got to flip the Y, so you flip the Y, and then we are going to grab our specular map here, and drag it onto reflective specularity. Okay, there's that. I am going to change my scene as I don't like the scene. I usually use the garage. Yeah, much better. All right, let's do the same thing with the handle here. <clears throat> All right, so again, diffuse to albedo. Glossiness to microsurface gloss map. Normal to normal. And flip the Y. And your specular to reflective. Okay, so now we have it all in there. Um, you can pretty much see it's, it's very similar in looks. There's always going to be a little bit of difference in every program as everything uses different lighting. But anyways, so you can come in here and you can play with the intensity on the specular. That'll really help change the look or the glossiness on the gloss map. So for example, if this wood was too shiny and I had it set up, I could knock down the gloss. But I textured it correctly where it's not a big deal and I can have the gloss all the way up. That way this metal shines. Um, on the blade, for example, if I turn the gloss down, you're going to see that it no longer looks like metal. So we're going to keep the gloss up. And the specular, obviously, we're going to keep up. <clears throat> yeah, that is pretty much all there is to it. No need to make the video longer than it needs to be. That is how I go from Substance Painter to Marmoset Tool Bag. Thanks, guys. Back from the dead.